I'm back guys. You guys remember this area? <laughs> BC7. First camp out was right here. Looks like really no one else has been here since I've been here and that's been quite a while ago. Cool. Yep, there's my attempt at a Siberian log fire. <laughs> uh, that wood just, I remember that night, that wood would just not burn. Well, I, while you guys wait for me to come back, I've been gathering up some, uh, cutting some more limbs off and I've come across some fat wood. Not the holy grail of fat wood that I wanted to come across, but hey, this is my first time doing it, so. But I did find some fat wood that I think I can make a handle for one of my ferro rods. So, I will get them out, I'll show you. And we're gonna baton one of them up with my uh, Cold Steel GI Tonto. Do knife I just purchased. And uh, yeah, all right guys, we're back at BC7. Okay, so here's what I found. You can see some of the fat wood in that. This is the kind of handle I want for my ferro rod. I'm gonna actually baton it down just a little bit. But there, you can see the fat wood there. And here's another one where the knots are too. A lot of fat wood gathers up. But you can see it, I mean, you can smell it. You gotta smell it too. And this side here, you can see it all in there. This one's got more though. Here's a neat one. You can see there's fat wood there, there, and there, and in the center. And this is where branches, this is where branches were coming out, rather than not. And here's another one too. See all the fat wood there. Yeah, like I said, it's not the holy grail. Of, I, was, I was hoping to find, find more sap than wood, but this'll work, so. All right, guys, I set you down on my gloves so you guys don't get wet. And uh, some stuff here knocked out of the way. I'm gonna baton this. This way I can get some ridge line, or get a little ridge on it, and um, get some of that dead stuff off of there. You see the fat wood. dead stuff there I want to get off. There. 
That might work. Well, to have it like that, maybe, because this side is a little smaller than this side. I think I got a half or a three quarters. Yeah, three quarter inch. I'm gonna put in there. I think if it'll work. Might have to get a smaller one. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. You still see the fat wood, so it's definitely got fat wood in it. This stuff's a little wet, I'm gonna let it dry out too. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna work good. Gotta figure out which end to use, and I gotta be able to drill straight in there because it's kind of on a curve. But uh, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yep, this is going to be a lot of fun. You can see the fat wood there, a couple spots. But either way, I can just, I mean, even if I just make shavings off this and it, not a whole lot of fat wood with it, I can still strike it with the ferro rod. So that's no problem. But, uh. All right, guys, I've, uh, I've enjoyed this day with you guys and we'll come back out and do some more fat wood adventures. So. Next step is is to um, maybe I'll bring you guys back and we'll do a video where I try to ignite it. Um, it's a little wet out, but let's see if we can get it started. I'll bring you guys back, all right? See you in a few.